day Good love is on the way And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia Have you ever been in love? I dove in from high above And if the answer's no Well then I'd like to get to know ya Outside is not that cold And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia And I don't know what those men see But I see you right next to me And if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia Love will soon arrive And when it does then Come a little closer Have you ever seen the stars Burn out into the dark And as they go say It was nice to know ya Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another day in my life. It is one o'clock already and I've just been sitting here and working and eating as you saw. Um, I'm excited to be filming today because I have been filming the 14 day quarantine video, but that's a very different experience than filming like one day because you try not to talk too much or get too many clips, although I think that video is still gonna end up being like 40 minutes long, <laughs> but it's two weeks worth of content. It's hard. I've never filmed a video that long, so it's hard to know how much to film what's too much, what's too little. But, I don't know. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. But, I feel like I haven't just sat down and chatted. Um, we had like six inches of snow this weekend. So, or maybe even more, quite a bit of snow. Um, it was very, very pretty, and it was nice for a Sunday to just see the snow but be inside. <laughs> I am going to get outside probably pretty soon here, just to, to show you what it looks like out there, because it's pretty cool. It's pretty. I think I was, <laughs> I was thinking this weekend, like, you know, the people who live here are probably like, here we go again with the snow in the winter but for me it's like hey it's pretty I like it it's kind of exciting but it looks like it's gonna be snowing like almost every day this week so that's pretty crazy but it did bring the temperature up from like 15 to 20 which is nice because that was just a little too cold for my taste <laughs> but yeah so that's another reason why I need to get outside because when it's 15 to 20 I've actually been having some like breathing difficulties um, or just like a strained, a strained feeling. Um, I do have asthma, exercise induced asthma, and I had gone on a bike ride, and, which I'm sure I, which I did mention in the last video as well, and ever since that day I've still been having like kind of a tightness in my chest, but I realized, you know, at first I was a little bit nervous about it, but I realized that it was related to the weather and from my bike ride, I think, because um, it specifically was on the days that were colder, on that being like the upper teens. So 
that's a little bit concerning. Um, probably won't be able to go outside on a lot of days just because of that. And I might have to look into getting an inhaler because I didn't, I just, I guess I just didn't realize that that would be an issue, but it seems like it is going to be, so interesting, but it should be fine. But yeah, I am just working as I do every day. I sit inside and I work. <laughs> I'm hoping to actually finish at a reasonable hour and actually have a night because a lot of times I don't end up having a night at all. I just simply um, finish at like 8 or 9 and then have like an hour and then go to bed. Which I really would prefer to actually get my work done early <laughs> and have a proper like relaxing evening. But it's just the way it's been. I think that's fine. I mean, I'm just adjusting to a new schedule. Um, I still have two more weeks here in this apartment, which is great because I really do like it. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot to say, but also nothing to say. <laughs> um, I'm really doing well here. I'm very happy. I think I made the right decision in coming, and I feel just happy. I do. I feel happy. Um, I have been dealing with some uh, anxieties, um, and kind of like, I want to call it more like actual fear, <laughs> but like just like concerns about my safety. And they're not really that founded, like, nothing scary has happened in the area we're in here is great. But, um, sometimes when I'm alone I do get the worry of just my safety. Um, crazy thing that happened was there was a 5.1 earthquake a couple of days ago, 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I want to say it was Saturday morning, and so it woke me up out of my sleep, and I was like, you know, the, the dishes were rattling a little bit, it was like someone was shaking my bed, and I was like, oh my god, do I go under the door? <laughs> and then, uh, because I'm from Chicago, I never, I felt earthquake one time prior to this, but it was, it was fairly minimal. But it's actually a pretty common thing here, which I did not realize. The host here, she came down and, and asked if I was alright, which was very nice of her. Um, everything was fine, like, there's no structural damage or anything like that. It was pretty, um, it was very fast and very, you know, it wasn't very mild, mild. So, but it was definitely the experience for me, and I've actually, even though it wasn't scary at all, I've, like, since then I've, like, had a new anxiety about, um, the earthquakes, and I'm like, oh my god, there's gonna be, like, a devastating earthquake, or something, like, I now have that fear in me, uh, I do feel like there's earthquakes every day here. Um, between a one and a two. One and a three, really, but most of them are like between one and two magnitude. And I've felt them like every day I feel the earthquakes. Um, just like a slight sort of shaking. Um, to me, it reminds me of like when you're drunk. <laughs> and you feel like things are moving. <laughs> like, you just don't feel steady. That's kind of the feeling that I get. And so that's been really, really interesting to experience, but yeah. <laughs> All right, so the next thing you're gonna see is me going on a walk. So cut to that. Cause I don't know what I've been told. The weather outside is not that cold. And if you take my hand, Georgia. And I don't know what those men see, but I see you right next.
next to me and if you take my hand I'll walk with you to Georgia There's this beautiful sunset going on which you just saw a clip of but like it's so frustrating because one I can't show right outside because I'm like safety I'm not trying to give away my identity and then two I just can't capture the sunsets on camera like they've been so beautiful some nights and looks like trash on the camera so <laughs> I'm getting tired so I'm having this snack hopefully it'll wake me up to do this um, movie but I got a movie which if I finish it today will take me over my goal I don't know if I'll finish it but I'm really excited because I love captioning movies and usually they're faster too because there's often like you know pauses for just music or whatever and in um, when you're captioning like a webinar or a, you know a lecture or a talk show or something like that it's non-stop talking so those tend to take just a little bit longer than a movie because you sometimes get lucky and have a lot of, you know, montages with music. So today is actually a really good day. I've been um, very productive. And I got outside on a nice little walk. I did my yoga this morning. A lot more exercise than I've been doing most days. So I think that's why I'm feeling. But I'm still getting that little bit of a slump. I'm distracted by the sunset. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting that slump right now, but I'm feeling like way more productive than I have been the last two weeks. Like, really struggled to get anything done, honestly. I mean, last week was the election, and I was literally watching CNN for five days straight, and I just sat there and kept refreshing the CNN page. And, well, I tried to work, but I was too, like, frazzled and concerned about what was going to happen <laughs> to get anything done. Today was a very sugar-filled day. Um, I try to only eat fruit as my dessert um, and chocolate. I try to keep those as my only two desserts, but I had the cereal that I bought. But I finished the box, so now I won't have anything but fruit until I go to the store again, which I am going to go later this week. But hopefully I only buy chocolate or something that's not so bad for me. But yeah, today was a lot more sugar than I usually have. But I've been... I bought two was buy one get one free for cereal so I had bought two of those and um, I ate them all fairly fast so that's not good but now that it's gone I, I definitely feel like I got it out of my system I've had so much cereal in the last week that I'm I'm done with cereal for a while on the way but I could use it right now cuz I heard lovings on the way but I could use it right now cuz I heard lovings on the way but I could use it right now cuz I heard lovings on the way okay guys I'm gonna leave the vlog off here I've got my nighttime tea which always makes me nice and tired and I've got my ambiance of relaxation for tonight and I'm just going to do some reading and finish up a Christmas movie I'm watching <laughs> that I started yesterday on Netflix 
So I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Good night. I don't know what I've been told. The weather outside is not that cold. And if you take my hand, I'll walk with you to Georgia.